Hello and welcome to Star Citizen. My name is Even Lease, and today on 10 Minutes or Less Ship Review, we're taking a look at the Aegis Saber, a stealth fighter, but also considered a superiority fighter. Let's go ahead and take a look at this ship. Starting off, I just want to say that the Aegis Sabre is a fantastic looking ship. It is definitely probably one of the better looking fighters out there in the verse. And I know that's just a personal opinion, but I think it just looks really cool, especially with those massive engines and just the overall design when she's opened up and ready to go. Now, talking about firepower, this ship does only have four guns. They are size 3 CF337 Panthers, as you can see. Two at the front here, and then one on each wing, next to the engines in front of the landing gear. And then you have four size 3 missiles. You're going to have two Thunderbolt 3s and two Arrestor 3s. Now, this ship isn't meant to be a fighter in the sense of, like, an Arrow or a Vanguard Warden. This is a stealth fighter. This ship is supposed to, more or less come in as stealthily as possible and hit the target fast and heavy and then get the heck out of there. Now, does it do a good job at that? I don't know. It's for me right now. It's <laughs> every time I've gotten into this ship, it's love hate. And there's reasons for this too, because it's supposed to be such an amazing ship and the stealth is pretty phenomenal. Is it to the levels of the ghost, the Hornet ghost, maybe a little bit less than the Hornet ghost. Uh, but it's still got great stealth compared to other ships. It, I mean, I'll drop in a quick video as I'm talking. I literally dove in on this guy at Brios, and I, I kind of hovered over him for a while at about 7 kilometers up to about 5 kilometers out, and he didn't see me at all. So what I did is I came in, I dropped down, and I swooped right by him, and uh, he freaked out and left. Obviously, I'm not going to do anything to him because I'm not a pirate, but I just thought it was interesting to kind of see just how stealthy this ship is. And it is very stealthy. Now, one of the biggest problems you're going to ask and have, though, is the weapons. They are phenomenal weapons, typically, because they have great speed, and they are laser repeaters, so you don't have to worry about ammo. But the problem is, is the capacitors. They have a very low capacitor mount on this ship. I'm not sure why but they do. So if you are not one to mess with the pyro triangle in the ship, which I'll show you what that is when we go in there, you're going to have an issue with attacking other ships because you'll run out of ammo fast. And if you don't mess with that power triangle, it's not going to rearm that fast either. So you'll expend your ammo quick and then you'll be kind of SOL and need to retreat as quickly as you can. Reason being is this ship, and I'm looking at it right now obviously, only has two size one shields and they're about 1500 HP each well not about but they are and it's a bubble shield so overall you're just getting 3000 HP covering this whole ship for shields and then once those shields are depleted which uh, I'm sorry to say but a bubble shield means that all four faces deplete at the same time uh, when getting hit you only have 12,540 total ship HP that's not much more than an arrow. That's not much more than a gladius. This ship is bigger, stealthier, but bigger, and the weapon capacitors are worse. So you are kind of in a, you know, a pickle once you <laughs> run out of that capacitor. And if you start taking any hits, you can't be in the fight for much longer. Um, now, if you do mess with the power triangle, you can definitely get these weapons to start bearing down some fire and they reload much faster. So you kind of rotate, you have two fire groups, mouse button one, mouse button two. So you would rotate between the two, fire all of mouse button one, relinquish and fire mouse button two, and then just keep that on repeat to where it's just nonstop fire. But remember when doing that, you are not gonna be giving yourself any more shields. You're not gonna be giving yourself any more engine thrust, like it, none of that's going to be, you know, returning to you. So 
just make sure that you are operating your power triangle as good as you can. Now another thing to go over with this ship, it does not have any component access at this current time, at least not that I could find. Let me make sure here, nothing there, nothing over here. But you do have some access. It's not that you don't have it all, but there is some. If I was to go over here to the side where you're not going to enter your ship, you do have storage access here. And then right here you do have a weapons locker for the pilot, which is great. It's always nice to have these functions on a ship like this because then you can use this as a daily and go to bunkers with this. Are you going to be using this to bring a whole bunch of gear back from bunkers? Probably not, but you can at least go clear them and do the objectives inside of them. But there is no other component access, so there is going to be a definite need for a gold standard pass on this ship sooner rather than later in my opinion. Just because there is a little bit of issues. Now, I don't like saying the word balance right now because we have master modes coming. And master modes is the beginning stages of balance for every ship in the game. So I don't want to be like, well, this ship needs to be balanced oh, right now, right now, right now. You know, do it right now. No, it's pointless. There's no point in touching the ship right now because master modes, they are probably already touching this ship. Um and getting it already figured out more than what I see right now. So I'll probably have to give it another review once Master Modes hits the live servers. But as of right now, this is just how I'm reviewing it. To enter the pilot seat, you would just come over to this panel and hit enter pilot seat. You can open the ladder, open the pilot canopy. Once you do this, that weapon will draw back on both sides and you'll just head on in. Now I will say this ship has one of the prettiest interiors for a fighter that I've seen in a while. You know, outside of like the Gladius and stuff like that. But just, I love the red accents. And you have four MFDs at the front. As you can see, I already have my power triangle set to weapons only. Because I tried to do some, you know, bounty hunting in this ship. Oh, <laughs> it can be a little bit frustrating. Because you really got to operate that power triangle more than certain other ships. Now, if you look around, you do have some buttons that are operational. Including a self-destruct on the right. And an eject right at the front here, which is great. And as well as other buttons, which it's always good to see buttons being operational. Now, like I said, I'm going to put the power triangle back where it was. And that puts you at 23 rounds per gun. And I'm going to tell you right now, you fire through those 23 rounds very quickly. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the engines and show you again. Okay. I'm up in the air. I'm going to go ahead and bring up the gear. As you can see, the wings will expand out. Very cool. Gotta love that. It's got such an awesome look to it. It's it's just super, super cool. <laughs> Probably one of the better looks in the game for a fighter. Now, if I wanted to go ahead and say I'm engaging opponent, let's just say we're in space and that rock right there is a ship, and I decide I'm going to go ahead and start firing. You're going to go through all 23 rounds. Now I'm going to rotate to the other guns. Now watch this. You only have 10 rounds left on this panther. Oh, now I'm out. Now I'm down to three. Now you're just in a terrible situation. So you can't even play it you know, one at a time on the fire groups when you are at a regular power triangle. Your best bet is to put it at 100% power triangle, which gives you 28 rounds per gun. And at this point, you can go ahead and rotate between the two because as you're firing here, and then you can relinquish the fire over there, look how fast those reload. You can just go non-stop with these guns. It is insane. And you can just keep on rotating it like this. So you're going to just be hammering somebody with that and that is phenomenal i love that now as you can see as we sit here i'm going to put the power triangles back to normal your em rating is very low and your ir isn't bad either but this tells you right now from the get-go that you do have amazing stealth and this ship has amazing speed and maneuverability especially in atmosphere i was very surprised i was a well above safe scm speed and i'm able to maneuver this thing like it's nothing else I think it's 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 a sick ship. It's got terrible shields and it's got a terrible health point pool, but I understand because it's supposed to be a stealth ship. It's but I don't, I don't really know why they call it a space superiority fighter. You're not superiority in anything other than stealth. So you might just hop in, shoot, hop out. Honestly, if I was to give this ship a score based off everything I just told you, and I'm going to take into consideration the normal power triangles weapon capacitors and the fact that it does have four CF-337 Panthers and only four rockets. 
I'm going to give this ship an 8 out of 10, just due to the fact that stealth can't save you in regards to everything. Having stealth is great, but you also have to have, to have the firepower to back it up. And the reason why I'm going to continue to go with an 8 out of 10 is just because of a couple different factors here. You have the lower capacitor amount on the weapons, you have a very low uh, shield health pool, and you have a very low ship health pool at the price point that the ship sits at. Are there better options for a cheaper price? Yes, there is. Now, this just all personal opinion, of course, because, you know, this ship is an amazing looking ship, and it does have a lot going for it, and I feel like, honestly, with Master Modes coming up, it could change dramatically. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. Let me know what you think of this ship down in the comments below, and do you have one? Are you going to get one? What do you think? Again, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.